Fingers crossed, Jesus, please don't let my hair fall out. Hi, my loves. Shanties here, also known as With Love SB. Welcome back to my channel. If you can't already tell, today's video is going to be on a hair tutorial of bleaching my hair by myself at home. Ugh. Please pray for me. I am not a professional. I am not a cosmetologist. Kind of nervous about it, but you know, they say blondes have more fun, so I'm trying to spice it up a little bit. I'm trying to have a little bit more fun and um, bleach my 4B, 4C hair. So without further ado, let's get straight to the video. <laughs> Okay guys, so these are the products that I'm gonna be using to bleach and tone my hair. Keep in mind, I am not a professional, so just note that this is what I'm doing personally. And also, if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, okay? So, first things first, I'm gonna be using the BW2 bleaching powder, and I'm gonna be mixing that with the 30 volume developer. I'm going to be mixing it in this ghetto mixing bowl and stirrer that I have. I left my um, all my other materials at home, so I just have to make do with what I got. So, there we go. It, it'll work. Be wearing gloves to protect my fingernails, even though they're already a mess because of the coronavirus. And I look raggedy, but it's okay. It's cool. No need of making them worse than they already are. After I finish bleaching, I will be using the shimmer lights. And then I'll be toning my hair. Now to tone my hair, I'm actually going to use 20 volume developer. And I'm going to mix that with two different colors that I chose. And the two colors that I have, they're the um, Wella Color Charm. The first one is 7W, which is the caramel. And then the second color is the 6W, Prelude. I'm just going to mix them together, put them in there. Bam. Once I do all of that, I'm going to do a deep conditioning and I'm going to use the macadamia natural hair repair for that and it smells so good. So I purchased all of these products from Sally's Beauty. I did it online because of course the beauty supply stores are closed so I purchased everything online so you can get everything from Sally's Beauty. So as you can see here I'm going to go in ahead and section my hair off into four sections just to make it a little easier so i have a, a lot of hair it's really thick my hair is really thick so i'm just going to separate it into the four sections to make the bleaching process a little easier and just to coat my hair a little bit and protect it i'm going to use some coconut oil now i probably should put this on a whole head but i don't have that much left so, I'm just gonna make do with what I can. Put it on my edges. I went to edges on this side are already kind of weak. Listen, I ain't got room to lose any more edges, okay? So, and then I'm gonna saturate the ends as much as possible to try to protect them finger to take away. Try to protect my hair from the harsh chemicals that are about to be on them. Hair um, also is dirty. I'm starting out on dirty hair, so just blue, um, you know, detangled it to make it easier for the color process.
it's very important to work the bleach in as quickly as possible because it turns your hair color very quickly. When applying the bleach, I try my best to avoid putting it directly on my roots. This is because your roots actually change its color quicker than the rest of your hair as a result of the heat from your head. So after I finish applying the bleach to the rest of the hair shaft, I go back in and work it into my roots. looking like right now. That's what our curls are looking like. So can see. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out now. Show you the back. All right. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So here's my hair after rinsing it out and shampooing it with the uh, shimmer lights. As you can see, it's still very brassy. I'm gonna turn the light up some. Okay, so I turned the light up. As you can see, it looks crazy. This is what I actually expected, anticipated. So hopefully, this toner will tone it down some and actually get it to the color that I want because I look crazy. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go ahead and mix the toner. Again, I'm using 7W and 6W. I'm gonna mix them together. The 6W right now. So that means that I'm supposed to do two caps full of developer This will stain, so be careful when mixing so that it doesn't get on your walls. Okay, let's finish mixing it. It's like a jelly texture. I'm really gonna focus it on my roots. First, when applying it to my hair. Okay, so this is what it's starting to look like. You can see it's darkening up some. The roots. Turn around so you can see the back. Alright, 
So I'm gonna leave this in for about 10 to 15 more minutes so that my hair can really take the color and then I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'll be back with you. Okay, love, so this is what my hair looks like after toning it. I actually really like it. I don't really see a huge difference in my um, hair, my curl pattern. So that's good. My hair has always been really loose at the top and uh, more coily in the back. So that still stands. It actually, uh, my hair regains some of its moisture after toning it and um, shampooing it. So what I'm about to do now though, just so that I can have optimal hydration is I'm going to put on the macadamia uh, natural oil deep repair mask on my hair. All right, my love, so I finished applying the hair mask so that it can restore the moisture to my hair. And if you wanna see, so this is, you can see a little bit like how I didn't, I left a little bit of my edges out so that it wouldn't be completely gone and disappeared. So in the future when I try to swoop and do my baby hair, you'll be able to see it yeah so so the, the last step I want to do is I actually made a little concoction here and um, in it is water rose water and essential oils that I put all in here that I'm gonna spray all across my hair um, this is actually a cool 360 spray bottle is what it's is what it's called got this from Sally's too it's very convenient because you like you squeeze it and it just keeps spraying so I'm just gonna mist that all over the hair I'm really feeling it I like it I was very nervous but I'm actually really starting to like it and put my hat back on and I'm going to leave this in for at least an hour. Oh, and for any of you who may have been wondering how much hair I lost during the process, I collected all my little hairballs, and this is how much hair I lost. And I'm very surprised because I actually lose or I shed way more hair during like wash day. But yeah, this is it. This is literally all that I lost during the whole bleaching, toning, finger detangling process so not bad so here you have it guys i've successfully bleached and toned my hair i appreciate you so much for sticking with me this far and making it to the end of my video if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe it really means the world to me and again i appreciate you so much for watching i'll see you on the next video